Hi, I'm Berserkules, the Berserk Hurt, and today I'll be talking about an old instructional short from a long time ago called As Boys Grow. As it starts off, we are introduced to a gym teacher that will be telling us, and the kids in this short, all about puberty and the changes that happen then. I'm glad they left the teaching of this important information in the capable hands of a gym teacher. Gym teachers are always the most intelligent teachers. So the gym teacher tells us about the kids that make up his class, in more detail than we need to know, and then after fixing a kid's sprained leg, in a somewhat homoerotic scene, he goes on to tell us about a conversation that happened between two kids in the locker room. Say, what happened to your face? Oh, this? Cut myself shaving. Yeah? Maybe I'll start shaving soon. Um... How did he know that they said all that stuff? Was he spying on them? Does he have spy holes in their locker room? Is he hiding in one of the lockers? What the fuck? This is creepy! So the coach continues to narrate about the kids' wonderment about their growing bodies. I think his choice in subject matter reveals a lot about him. And then... Hey, you know something? No, what? I had a wet dream last night. Wet dream? What's that? Oh, you know, the sperm comes out of your penis. What the fuck? Why are they sitting on the lawn talking about their ejaculations? What the fuck is this? Is this what erotic films of the 1950s look like? This is creepy! Hey, you know something? No, what? I had a wet dream last night. Wet dream? What's that? Oh, you know, the sperm comes out of your penis. Ah, uh, remember when you were young and you would sit on the lawn with your friend? and talk about your nocturnal ejaculations. Hey, dude, guess what? What, man? I came in my sleep last night. Sweet, so did I. Awesome! Oh, you know, the sperm comes out of your penis. Sperm? Yeah, sort of a sticky stuff. Guy's part of a baby. Didn't your brother ever tell you about that? Wait. Since when is it the older brother's responsibility to talk to his younger brother about that? Oops, I never had that talk with my brother. I hope he figured it out somehow. And wait, if this short is told from the coach's point of view, how do you know about that conversation happening? Is he stalking his students? Is he hiding in the bushes behind them? Is that why they're moving slightly? What the fuck? So the short jumps back to school as the kids continue to wonder about their growing bodies. Wow, is this all the kids back then had to talk about? Hurry up and invent the internet! Anyway, the coach interrupts their body talk, and when they bombard him with questions, he decides to hold the meeting after class to answer all their questions. Say, when's the guy start shaving anyway? Does an erection? Well, does that mean you have too much sperm? But how does it get out from the testicles? Say, when should a guy start going around with girls? Yeah. But babies and all that. That's not all you go out with girls for, is it? When does a girl start having these periods? But where are these glands? Yeah. And what's puberty? Well, I was told it had something to do with pimples and stuff. Is that right? But what if they asked him harder questions? Um, coach, what's fisting? Yeah, and what's a Cleveland steamer? Is it still rape if a woman comes? So the coach goes about answering their questions, and even pulls out some pictures on the subject. Wow, he's very prepared. Did he anticipate their questions? Or just happen to have these drawings in his desk? Are they his modern art corn? Maybe a diagram will help. Here's the penis. Wow, I must be a freak. Mine looks all fleshy in 3D. There's an erection. Well, does that mean you have too much sperm? And you ought to get rid of it? Get rid of it? No. But sometimes your body will do that by itself. At night. It's called a nocturnal emission, or wet dream. Then you can cause an ejaculation by yourself, too. By masturbating. Rubbing the penis. It's a good thing they have their coach here to ask questions about masturbating. He definitely seems like the kind of guy who'd know all about that. Sometimes you hear that masturbation affects your mind or your manhood. It isn't true. I masturbate, and I'm not crazy. The vagina 
that opens out between the legs. Um, that's a vagina? Two lines? Then what the hell have I been fucking all these years? The sperm meets the egg in this tube. Then the fertilized egg becomes attached to the uterus wall. And the cells multiply and grow into a baby. Yeah, but how's it get there? You know, not just the sperm and egg stuff. I mean, well, what really happens? Oh, what you want to know about is sexual intercourse. Well, that happens like this. The erect penis enters here. And rhythmic movements, a pumping back and forth, causes an ejaculation from the penis. This is sex. So the coach finishes answering their questions, and the kids leave. And then the coach narrates about two of the kids asking out two girls. They've learned the technical knowledge, and are now going for the more practical experience. Where's the coach hiding in this scene? Okay, I'll make something. Hey, great. How about a big old chocolate cake? <laughs> Aww, the fat kid wants cake. <laughs> hmm, actually, cake doesn't sound half bad. So the instructional video ends as they go out for a picnic with the girls. They're not going to tell them about their nocturnal emissions, are they? That's it. It's now the end. I hope that answered any question you might have regarding sex. And if it didn't, just ask your local high school gym teacher. <laughs> This is sex!